Ludicrous Feed is proudly sponsored by Carlo Pedata, Kobo Car Insurance, and Wallbox EV Chargers. Hey everyone, hope you're well. This is our Tesla Model Y behind me here, and today I'll be reviewing the Joa Sunshades. I'll leave a link to the product in the video description below, as well as a coupon code which you can enjoy across the Joa site. Now, the buzzword for uh, glass roof protection is currently uh, silver coated, and these new sunshades from Joa definitely are silver coated. Um, as you can see, it's reflective on this side, and then on the other side, which is the cabin side, is nice and uh, dark there, so to help keep your cabin cool. And there's two parts, uh, there's the that pit there, and it's uh, easily shown as side up, so you can tell which side faces the glass roof. And then I've got uh, the other half as well. So one's for the front, one's for the back, and then the inside, uh, which will keep your cabin nice and cool. And they all fit inside um, this protective casing, which actually fits inside the front boot as well of your Tesla Model Y. And you can also get this. Now this is the windscreen shade. And unlike other sunshades, this is actually quite firm. So this fits perfectly on the windscreen of your Tesla Model Y. So this has been custom made. Again, reflective on this side. And as I flip it out, there it is, uh, nice and dark on the inside to keep your cabin cool. And you've got this part here, which you can zip up, obviously for the uh, rear view mirror housing. Now, of course, it does take a bit of practice to fold these. I've kind of mastered it, wouldn't call myself an expert just yet, but you know, probably do a few practice runs. And then uh, same with the roof shades, although honestly, these are so good that I'll probably keep these on most of summer, which I have, by the way, so far. So there you go, fold these in. I'm not sure if you saw that, but I'll do that one more time for you. Up high, so you can see, again, just twist. And it turns into, kind of like that teardrop shaped or you know, eye shaped, which fits inside again. Uh, these cases, you get two of these if you buy both the windshield as well as the glass roof. One for the windshield and then one for two parts of the glass roof. All right, well, let's uh, head out to the hot sun and uh, we'll test these out. Um, today is tipped to be close to 40 degrees Celsius here in Sydney. So yeah, I'm already quite warm inside my garage, but uh, hopefully these will keep us nice and cool uh, for the real world test. Okay, so here I am parked outside with the Model Y and I've been sitting here for the last 10 minutes now and it is a hot day. So uh, as you can see on the screen here, it's showing that it's 34 degrees Celsius at 1.39 p.m. Uh, and I am attempting to cool the cabin down to 21 degrees and the aircon is working quite hard and that of course is without uh, the Joa sunshade currently installed so it's just the bare naked glass roof there as you can see that's the Model Y great in winter and good for natural lighting of course great for passengers when it's not too hot they can see everything but in summer when it's hot like today it is quite unbearable almost I can definitely feel the heat coming through and I cannot leave my hand there much more than a second because it is just scorching like it's really hot um, so yeah I mean I'm lucky to have a full head of hair still but I think you know you, you would definitely feel the heat um, without some sort of covering some sort of protection on this roof so um, as you can see around the uh, trim of the roof I've got these little tabs here and that's what a Jawa product comes equipped with so you can install these very easily Leave them on all year round if you don't want to have the shade up. You can just still leave them there if you like. They're very easy to install and take off if you need to. But to do that, um, they also give you a pry tool. So what you do is basically use the pry tool like this, just the plastic tool like that, and just pry the trim open a bit like that. And then, that's what it looks like up close. So just a little tab, and just literally just fit it in like this. Slip it in, there it is. You're installed, one tap, and just go around the whole car and do that, so two on the front, one, two, um, and then four on the sides there, one, two, three, four, and then two at the back, and then you are done. All right, so now the climate control is working really hard, uh, 2.4 kilowatts. Okay, so now I'm sitting in the back and I've installed just the back half of the shade. So there it is, the front, 
And by the way, I should tell you that the glass roof for the Model Y and Model 3 actually has UV protection up to 99% already uh, from the factory. So it's pretty good from a UV protection point of view, but the heat still does come through. So there we are, that's what the front looks like without the shade. And then this is the back half with the shade on. And as you can appreciate, it's a lot cozier now at the back with the shade up. Um, it's pretty easy to install, as you can see. I'll just zoom in right close there. Those tabs I was talking about, they just hold the shade in place, right? It's got a groove for it. And that's what the shade sits in. And uh, it's pretty easy to unfold it and then just um, install it. And there's another up close shot of it. And yeah, nice and dark material and the sun is not coming through. And obviously I can't feel the heat now with the silver protection on the other side. Okay, so I've now done both front and back. I tell you what, subjectively, the cabin is a lot cozier now that the uh, roof is darkened. Uh, look, it fits pretty well overall. There's a bit of a gap just between the front and the back. Let me just be very honest with you there. Like, it's very small. It's uh, literally just at the, you know, above the feet of the passengers behind, so they won't notice it too much. Probably good to have some natural light, right? See, it's just literally just right above the floor space. But as you can see, it blocks out the majority of the glass roof and just touching it now, obviously, with the shade there. Yep, almost nothing really, no heat coming through. So, yeah, that's good. And look, it's hard to tell whether the shades do help with energy efficiency. You saw before how it was over two kilowatts for the climate control when I was in the back. Uh, now it's down to 1.6, even though it's um, you know, still the same temperature, 35 degrees. So make of that what you will, you know, with the aircon working less hard, then you probably get more out of the battery. So, you know, it's not super scientific, but you could say that the shades do help uh, with energy efficiency, especially on a very hot day like today, keeping the cabin cool inside. And is that because the rear aircon's not on because I'm not sitting there? No, nope, the rear vents are still working, so yeah. Um, it's definitely working less hard. Okay, so let me now show you the front windscreen shades. Okay, so that was pretty easy. Took me less than like 20 seconds to unfold it. Um, it also does come with clips like it does for the glass roof. And you can clip it on the side, but to be honest, I think you probably don't need it because look, it fits pretty well, almost edge to edge between the trim and the glass. And then just use your sun visors to hold it in place both sides like that. So, yeah, I think you're probably okay without the clips. Um, and obviously it's been custom made for Model Y, so it just fits perfectly edge to edge all the way down to the bottom of the dash as well. So, yeah, it's pretty good. And as I showed you before, there is a zip like that. So that's for the housing of the rear view mirror. There you go. That's um, how you uh, undo it, by the way. Just pull the visors back and then just slip it over like that. And same when you put it up, just slip it over the, the housing and then just uh, zip it up like so. And then just put the visors down. Sorry, doing this one-handed. But yeah, pretty straightforward. Um, and that makes for a really, really cozy cabin. Now that you've got the front covered uh, with the silver treated uh, reflective side, and same with the uh, glass roof as well, silver treated reflective side. It's a really cozy interior. Why would you want this? Well, sometimes you've just got to wait in the car, right? Especially if you've got kids. You know what I'm talking about, parents. You know, you're waiting for them to finish whatever sport, art, music, drama, dance, whatever it is. You need to sit in the car sometimes. And yeah, this just makes for a really cozy uh, interior. It's not warm. That's not warm. Uh, yeah, happy days inside the Tesla Model Y. Again, not super scientific, but my meter shows that the climate control is now only using 1.5, 1.6 kilowatts. So with the front shades on, it's dropped even further from 1.8 down to 1.5, 1.6, now 1.7, so still less. Uh, and definitely without them, it would be uh, greater than two kilowatts. Okay, so glass roof shade installed. As I said earlier, uh, most of summer, I would probably leave these on. Um, probably too inconvenient to take them on and off each time. So, you know, over the summer months from say November to February, March, just leave them on and yeah, you'll have a very cozy cabin uh, for your drives. Speaking of drives, uh, we should probably head off uh, for a drive just to test out 
the shades to make sure it doesn't rattle and um, also to make sure that they stay in place with the windows down as well. Not that I drive often with the windows down, but I know some of you do, so I'll test them out for you. And I'll just show you the gap one more time between the two halves, just in case you're concerned. Again, it's a small slit. That's my finger up against it. So that's the width, almost nothing, like I said. It's probably good to have some natural light coming through. Better than having a full glass roof of sun and heat, let me tell you. See, now I can rest my hand up against the shade, uh, no problem. Although if I press a bit harder, then I'm starting to feel the glass roof again. And yeah, it's getting hot, so I have to take it off. All right, let's go test the sunshades out in the real world. Let's find some um, speed bumps to start with. There's a couple here now, so let's make sure they don't rattle. Okay, nothing so far. Now I could turn the aircon on, but in reality, you'd have the aircon on, right? In summer, there's no way I drive around with the aircon off. So, real world test, okay? Aircon on, down to 21 degrees on medium fan, which I've been doing for the whole test, basically. Sunshades on, obviously the windscreen one is off, just the front and back one's on. I'm just going for a Sunday drive, literally a Sunday drive. And yes, it's an absolute stinker. It's now 38 degrees Celsius outside. So, tip to tip, reach 40 degrees in most of Sydney today. Go for a drive around some of the roads in the area. There's a bumpy bit I know of, so uh, we'll see whether that causes any rattles. And then, for those of you who want it, I'll put the windows down, even though I personally don't drive with the wind windows down at all. Why would you? Honestly, with the... Uh, Aircon, so nice in the Tesla. I guess some of you like to feel the breeze. That's okay. That's okay. You do you. Okay. And now that I'm driving with the shades on, uh, honestly, hand to heart, so much better. Like, I'm not feeling the heat from the top anymore. Um, feeling the heat from the sides with the through the uh, through the windows, but nothing from the top. And that's lovely. This makes it much more pleasant to drive on a 38 degree day, probably 40 coming up. So much better. So the usual bumps, you just you know that's the Model Y. It is what it is, but certainly no rattles coming from the shade. Like I said, they're custom made, custom fitted for the Tesla Model Y. I think there are shades for Model 3 as well, so if you want them. And they're a pretty, you know, pretty good option, quite affordable. Uh, easy to install, uninstall, if you don't need it in winter. But highly recommended for summer, obviously, especially in Australia. Almost a no-brainer, really. It's uh, a nice, cheap option to have. Keep uh, you and your kids safe and your family safe, whoever else is in the car with you. Just let me know in the comments if you've heard any rattles so far. I personally have not. I'll just keep quiet for a little bit. Yep, definitely nothing. And I've been travelling just at 80 kilometres an hour as well, so relatively high speed. Had these on, or the same Joa product on, uh, a previous road trip up to the Gold Coast, driving 100, 110 on the Pacific Motorway. Again, no issues, no rattles. Alright, so uh, I'll make the journey back, and this time we'll have the windows down as well, just for you guys and girls who want that option. Okay, windows down, test coming up shortly, as soon as I make this lane. Okay, so I'm just only going to do this very briefly because I don't like having the windows down, but I'm going to do what I'm going to do for you guys and girls. Here we go, windows down. It's a hot day. 
I can feel the hot, dry air coming in. I'm not happy. But I'm doing it for you guys. Hope you're happy. There's no rattle. I'm now going at 80 kilometers an hour. Definitely no rattling. Nice and stable. Happy? Alright, windows going back up. Okay, well, hope you're satisfied. For those of you who asked for windows down, not the real world for me, but might be the real world for you. All right, well, uh, that's it from me. Um, hope you enjoyed that. As you can see, there is some benefit to having sunshades on your glass roof of the Model Y. Uh, first of all, obviously, for the fact that it helps with heat uh, protection and heat resistance. It's silver treated on the uh, reflective side of the new Jolwa shades, so it keeps the heat away. Uh, and also, good also for efficiency too, as you saw. Not super scientific, but you get an idea of the fact that you're saving energy not having the aircon uh, too strong, or as strong as it could be without the shades. So I think for the cost of these shades, I think it's worth doing to help increase your battery efficiency for those long drives. Makes it for a more comfortable trip for you and your passengers. Keep your family safe. And yeah, I'm gonna have these shades on for basically all of summer. And then as you see, the windscreen shade is pretty good as well. Uh, custom fitted, edge to edge for Tesla Model Y. And I will have that in the car whenever I need to uh, park outdoors or to uh, have it on when I'm just sitting around waiting for whatever inside the car. Thanks everyone for watching. And thank you, Joe Wu, for sending me these shades to review. Nice addition to the car. And again, coupon codes in the video description below and link to product as well. Thank you, Joe Wu. Thanks, everyone. I'll see you guys next time. And as always, happy charging.